Welcome. Welcome to RE Lessons with John. Today we're going to think about Jesus. This lesson is based upon a sermon which my dad wrote. He's a licensed lay minister. In St Luke's Gospel, chapter 9, Jesus asked his disciples two questions. Questions that still have a huge significance for us today. The first question that Jesus asked his disciples was, Who do the crowds say I am? They answered, some say John the Baptist, others say Elijah, and still others will say when the ancient prophets risen from the dead. None of the people's description of Jesus were hostile. The answers showed that, unlike the religious leaders, the people were friendly towards him. They were interested in him and curious about him. There was something about him that intrigued them. They continued to flock to him, to listen to him teach. They hoped to see him work miracles, as a lot of people had seen. They knew there was something different, something special about the man Jesus. I want you to think, I want you to reflect and think about Jesus. What do you know about Jesus? Why is Jesus special? What stories did Jesus tell? And what miracles did Jesus do? Do you have a chance to think about Jesus? And I will continue with the story. And so the people speculated about him. They wondered if John the Baptist, who would Herod executed, has somehow come back. Or could he be Elijah? There was an ancient tradition that Elijah, while being taken up in heaven in such a mysterious way, would somehow return. Or perhaps they thought this man Jesus was one another of the other prophets of God, who returned to bring the message about God's kingdom. Messages that Jesus continues to seek about. The people recognised at least part of the truth. They knew that Jesus had a message for them, a reliable message from God. I want you to think, what could that message have been? What message did Jesus bring? You can't blame the people if they didn't recognise the whole truth. The truth that the Apostle Peter was inspired to give when Jesus asked the next question. But who do you say that I am? Peter thought long and hard. He answered, Thou art the Christ, promised and predicted. How did Peter know that? Was he that clever? Or was he more in tune than God, than anyone else? No. He certainly wasn't. In Matthew's version of the same story, Jesus says to Peter, Flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father in heaven. And he sternly ordered and commanded them not to tell anybody. From one point of view, this seems so strange. But Jesus knew there was much more to be accomplished in the coming days. What's going to happen to Jesus in the coming days? What do you think is going to happen? What do you know that happened? It was not until after the resurrection, when he promised to send his Holy Spirit, that he explained their mission to them. You will be my witness in Jerusalem and Samaria and to the ends of the world. If Jesus asked the question today, who would you say that I am? How could you answer that? What do you think?